it's like I knew that we would be here. I knew that we were going to be here. I knew that I was going to be sitting here making a video announcing to you guys that I won, that I made it. It's just still so, it's just still so surreal. Hey guys, what is up? What I do? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Casey and if you are new, please take a second, go down below, hit that subscribe button and click that little bell button so you don't miss when I post a new video. So I know you guys remember back in March when I applied to be a part of the Sephora squad. Well, I'm just so happy. I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic. I'm overwhelmed with joy to be sitting here to tell you guys that I made it. I'm in the Sephora squad for 2020. And I mean, let's just keep it a book. I would not have even been considered if it wasn't for you guys, okay? Those testimonials that you guys sent, they, you don't, even, you don't even understand. I was one of the people that got the most testimonials with over a thousand. All of your testimonials were so heartfelt. A lot of you guys really got into detail about why you love me and why you love my content. And I just really don't think Sephora would have even looked my way or they would have even considered me if it wasn't for them being able to see the influence that I have on you guys. And that is more powerful than even just winning a little competition or whatever. Like. The fact that I got it because it's a direct reflection of the impact that I have on you guys, it's overwhelming. I've already cried. I'm not going to cry anymore. This is the biggest brand deal that I've ever had. We're going to get into detail on exactly what it is, what I'm going to be doing. Um, I am going to be doing my makeup today. I'm not going anywhere, but I need to film a video after this, so I'm going to do my face. I figured I might as well talk to you guys while I'm doing it. But yes, the cat is finally out the bag. I made it, I'm in it, and I'm here to talk to you guys about how this is going to affect my content, my channel, what to expect, and honestly to just kind of celebrate with you guys because it's not just me that's going along with this journey, it's you guys as well, and like I said, I would not be here without you. Let's get into it. I've already moisturized my face. I'm going to, where's my makeup? <laughs> I'm sitting here like I'm about to do my face and no makeup is in front of me. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay, so let's take it back. Let's take it back a little bit for those of you guys that don't know exactly what Sephora Squad is. Totally forgot to put on primer, so we're gonna actually do that before putting on my brows. So Sephora Squad is basically Sephora's year-long influencer program. They started in 2019, so the 2021 is their second year doing this. The biggest thing about it is that it is paid. It's a paid partnership where I'll basically be a part of a bunch of different campaigns for different Sephora brands throughout the year. So you guys know when I do sponsored content, um, you see like the hashtag ad or I mentioned like, oh, this video is sponsored, meaning that the brand paid me to do it. So as a Sephora squad member, I'll be doing a lot of paid content for different brands that Sephora has. And that's really a big deal for me because Y'all know I talk about a lot of different brands on my channel. Like I'm not just like one street or like not one street. <laughs> I'm extremely multifaceted with my content in general. Like I do hair, I do skin, I do body care. Um, I do everything. <laughs> so to be a part of something that will allow me to dip into all those different topics is huge. Cause to be transparent, there are times where I'll just get a bunch of skin sponsorships right in a row or I get a bunch of hair sponsorships right in a row and it's never like mixed up the way that I like to do it organically. So I know that um, with this, there's there's just so many brands and so many different things that I can do with the things that Sephora offers. Along with the paid content, they're also gonna be sending me a lot of products. So I'm gonna be sent a lot of the things that are new, a lot of the things that um, are fresh. So. I'll be trying things before the stores even have them, almost like a first access type of thing. I'll also be able to do collaborations with some of the other people in the Sephora squad. So I believe there's about 25. I'm not 100% sure. But to be honest, I'm filming this before the actual announcement. So I don't know, I don't even know who else is in it right now. <laughs> but I believe it's about 25 other influencers and I'll have opportunities to meet them, network with them, and work with them on creating content, which is really exciting. Something else that's really cool is that I'll actually be able to participate in like trainings, 
um, different workshops for influencers to learn how to enhance your content, learn how to talk about products, learn about the science behind products. I'll have like direct contact with Sephora's merchant team and they'll be able to teach me a lot about like really how to talk about products and stuff like that. So that's really exciting because there's honestly like no manual or rule book for being an influencer. You just kind of figure everything out on your own. And so sometimes it can be confusing, like what are brands looking for? What are they looking for me to do? How am I supposed to really do this to sell myself in a way that will get me other collaborations, in a way that will make me look more professional and not just like I do this for a hobby because that's not my ultimate goal. So I'm really excited to be able to learn a lot from that. So unfortunately right now with this whole coronavirus situation, um, the in-person events are like on hold, but there will be digital events that we'll be able to do to meet the other influencers in the squad. Later in the year, we will be having like a party where we'll be able to meet each other somewhere in a different state. I know last year it was in LA, but I'm not 100% sure about this year since everything that's going on. But the in-person, <laughs> the in-person events haven't even been planned yet because of what's going on, so. That's kind of, that kind of sucked because I was really looking forward to, you know, being flewed out, which I had seen people do from last year's squad, but I'm sure that they'll find a way to make up for it or, you know, push it back so we'll still be able to experience that. But coronavirus is kind of in the way right now. Like something else that is really exciting about this opportunity is that I might also have the opportunity to go to like Sephora's main studio in Los Angeles and do videos for like their YouTube channel or their Instagram uh, TV, which is really cool. The last time I did like a in-person studio shoot was like two years ago. And I really enjoyed it. Like I liked being in a studio and having my hair touched up and having wardrobe and like having a call time and eating. I don't know why I said eating like that, but they always provide food at these type of shoots. <laughs> and they just make me feel so special. So I hope that I do get picked for something like that. The first thing that I'm going to be a part of, I'm really excited for you guys to see. Um, it's already being planned. I can't talk much about it because, like I said, it's still being planned, it's in the work. But the very first campaign that I'm doing is so cool. And I can't wait to see it come to life. They're kind of getting creative. Um, with all of us being stuck at home right now. So I'm so excited for you guys to see the first campaign. It's really crazy because I think over like 10,000 people applied for this thing, y'all. Like a lot of people applied. And to be completely honest, I was doubting myself. I was looking at some of the other people that applied and just, you know, just looking at their content, looking at their numbers, um, comparing myself, which is not smart. You should not do that but it's like human nature to do that. It's almost human nature to compare yourself, especially when you're in like a competitive situation like that. To be honest, um, I was going to apply last year for their first Sephora Squad thing, but I don't know, I think I just convinced myself not to out of fear. I feel like sometimes I set really high expectations for myself and I just would always feel like everything that I did could look better. Like everything that I was posting, I just felt like there were ways that it could have looked better. And to be honest, if you've been here for a while, you know that I started doing YouTube when I was like 16 in my bedroom at my parents' house, right? And since then, I have been all over the place. Like I've had to adjust to different spaces so many different times. Going from my room in my parents' house to going to a dorm on campus, um, and then switching to four different dorms all four years, getting adjusted to new spaces, figuring out how I can get the best lighting, get the best angle, have the best backgrounds when I just didn't really have like the resources. I didn't have the money definitely to be buying fancy equipment. And I just had to always work with what I had. And I mean, like I was okay with that and it's totally okay to just always work with what you have especially when you're just starting out, like it teaches you literally how to not make excuses for the things you want to do and just do it. But through that all, I knew that I wanted my content to look a certain way. I knew I wanted it to look better, um, but I just didn't have the space and I didn't have the money. But one thing I am proud of is that I never stopped. Um, even when I felt like, oh, this might not look as good as this person's or you know, I would beat myself up, like I was saying about it just not looking the way that I wanted it to. 
I never stopped. I always made the best of whatever environment I was in. And I just feel like I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't do that. Because there were tons of times where I was like, this is too much. <laughs> and then not only my environment, but also my freaking life schedule. Like when I was in school, I talk about this a lot, but it's just so crazy to me how far I've come. When I was in school, in college, I was literally a full-time student. I was working a part-time job. At one point, I was working a full-time job and I was still making time for YouTube. Like when I say I was working, working, working nonstop, sometimes I would literally get up at like six o'clock in the morning because I wanted to make time to film before class or time to film before going to work. And then back then I didn't have all the studio lighting so I had to work with the sunlight. Like I, I was literally always racing against time trying to get my content done before the sun went down. There were times where I would literally get up at seven o'clock and film from like seven to 10, go to class from like 10 to three, and then go to my part-time job from like four to 11 at night. I would do that every single day. And it wasn't even that I needed to have the money. Like it really was not about the money. If I needed money, my parents were there to support me. Um, I was still getting college refund checks. It really wasn't about not having money or like struggling. I just really wanted this. Like I just really wanted to grow. I really wanted to make my platform bigger. And like I said, I was never focused on the money because the money was gonna come. Obviously the money came, <laughs> but I was just so focused. And I'm just looking back at that. I'm just so proud of myself for not stopping. Cause there were so many times where I, my, my subscriber count wasn't growing that fast or my view count wouldn't be that high. And I would be spending all this time filming just to make like ten dollars from a video like there were a lot of times where i was discouraged and even now i just i'm discouraged sometimes because things don't go the way that i want or i feel like i could do something better or something could look better but one thing is for sure one thing that i have learned through this and just in life in general you cannot stop like don't stop i cannot imagine where I would be right now if I had stopped or if I had given up on myself or even if I had let up on working as hard as I was. I feel like it was so important for me to work that way then because now look at where I am. Like I have a two bedroom apartment that I pay for and in the second bedroom, I have a whole freaking beauty studio. And speaking of the beauty studio, to be honest, I didn't really know how I was gonna pay for this. Like when I got here to this apartment, I'm like, yay, I have a new room. But I'm like, I don't even have the equipment that I want. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna pay for it. I didn't have like this ample amount of money when I moved from my old place to this place. Like I was like, how the heck am I gonna, like I had the space, but now how am I gonna fill it up the way that I wanted to? Like what would be the purpose of me having a space like this and I don't even make it the way that I want it, right? So by God's grace, <laughs> I, was, I ended up getting approved for an Amazon credit card. And y'all know Amazon has everything. So I was able to literally buy everything that I have in this room on Amazon on my card. But I wouldn't even have the credit that I have to be able to do that with no interest. It's like installment, so it doesn't affect my credit. Um, if I don't pay a lot a month, I just have to pay the installment amount and I'm good. My credit wouldn't even be as good as it was if I wasn't working as hard as I was before to maintain my credit, you know? And at first I was doubting myself about buying all this stuff. I'm like, should I even really spend that money? Like, should I really put myself in debt like this? But now I can't imagine how I would do this opportunity to its fullest potential without having this stuff. I literally have everything that I need to make the type of content that I know Sephora is gonna look for and that I know that I'm gonna feel good about putting out under the name of Sephora. Like, I just feel like if you're gonna do it, do it big and do it right. And everything that I've done prior to this led up to everything that I have now. Something else that's really crazy that I was looking at <laughs> in my computer the other day, I applied to work at Sephora like 11 or 12 times. I wanted to work at Sephora so bad. I'm gonna put like a video on the screen for you guys to see all my applications. I applied to like five different stores like I said, 11 or 12 different times. There was only one time that I actually got called in for an interview. That interview ended up going pretty well and I got called back again for a second interview, but after the second interview, I didn't make it. And I, <laughs> y'all, like I was crushed because I had tried so many times before and didn't make it. So the fact that I got an interview went well, got another interview. 
and then didn't get the job i was just like yo and like i said sephora is just such a perfect fit for me and my content because i'm so multifaceted in what i do and one of the main reasons why i was doubting myself before was that it just seemed like to be a part of this you would have to be like a really good makeup artist like you have to do those fancy makeup looks and all that stuff and honestly that's just not my vibe like uh, you guys know i always do really subtle natural looks you know when you think of sephora you automatically think makeup you don't even think of all the other things that sephora offers and you honestly wouldn't even consider that there are people like me that like these natural type of looks you know and they're important to show too so i'm excited also to kind of be a face of like the natural beat because I had almost convinced myself that I wasn't even going to be successful at this influencer thing because I didn't like makeup like that. I like makeup but I don't like those really dramatic eyeshadow looks and like you know those over the top perfect cut creases like that's just not me and so that was a huge reason why I doubted myself last year because I'm like I don't even fit that look but then when I looked at the people that did end up getting it I'm like these are actually normal people. <laughs> like, these aren't people that are like extravagant at what they do. They just do it well. And they do it in a way that impacts other people. And it feels good to be a part of an influencer program like this that takes that into consideration. Like, it's not, it wasn't just about how Sephora saw me, it was about how my audience sees me. And yes, I have a lot of followers, and yes, I get a lot of likes and a lot of views, but I'm not like, top tier influencer. I'm not like one of the big boys. And a lot of the semi-finalists even were people that didn't have a lot of followers that were new to being influencers. Today, when this video goes live is when we'll find out who else was in it. But um, I hope that a lot of those people got it as well because it will really show like you don't have to have a lot of followers to have a good influence. Something else that I wanted to also make clear is that even though I'm a part of this um, program, my content does not have to be exclusive to Sephora. Like they're not banning me from doing organic content. They're not banning me from talking about other brands or other stores. I'm not like tied to Sephora. Like I'm gonna be able to still do the regular content that I do. It's just that you guys are gonna get some sprinkles of Sephora content as well. And that was really important for me too because I didn't wanna be a part of something that I had to be exclusive to. So I'm really happy that I'm still able to, you know, do my thing and still be a part of it. Now, even if you weren't one of the people that sent a testimonial, you're obviously watching this video because you support me. And I'm sure that this is not the first video of mine that you've watched. So, I mean, anyone that has engaged in my content in any way, whether it's just clicking the video, whether it's commenting, liking, um, all of that matters. And just like I said in, I don't know where I said this at. I feel like I said it on Instagram or something. I don't remember. But my silent supporters are just as important as the people that are always commenting and, and are overly expressive of their presence because every little thing matters. Because I know that I'm still impacting you even if you're not super engaged. I feel like this is the fastest space I've ever done. I can't believe it took me this short amount of time. All of the content that I do for Sephora will still be in the hands of myself like it'll all be still my creative input there's nothing that they are going to tell me that i have to do or that i can't do which is also really important to me with any brand deal that i do but especially with something big like this i'll still have full creative control over my content and i'll still have full creative control over whatever content they have me do. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything specific that you guys might want to see from me during this because i might be able to you know give my input and make that happen. Whether it's um, certain type of videos, makeup videos, or certain products you wanna see me show on my channel. The options are <laughs> literally limitless when it comes to the things that Sephora offers. And I'm also really excited because freaking Kosas is in Sephora now. So I'm hoping that I get some type of campaign with them as well, like that would be freaking lit. The Kosas campaign that I did a few months ago had nothing to do with Sephora. Like the brand contacted me directly. But now that I'm in Sephora squad, I think it will be really cool to do something a part of that. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna finish up my face and then I'll close out this video. Okay, y'all, I just finished my face. It came out so good. I'm wearing these lashes from Netta Rose again that I'm obsessed with. They're in the Style Chase. I'll put the link down below. They're so pretty. I've been wearing these like more than any other lash recently. This lip is NARS. It's NARS Slow Ride. It's like one of their little liquid 
mattes. I love this color on me. And my curls look good too. I got a little product oh, on the side. But I used um, Curlsmith, their oil and cream and their gel again for the first time in a long time. And it might be a staple again. I don't know, it looks really good. But yeah guys, that's all I pretty much have to say. Um, I am still like so overwhelmed with joy and I'm so excited to share this journey with you guys. Thank you again so much for taking the time to send a testimonial if you did or even just for engaging in my content in any way, shape or form. I appreciate you so much and I would not be here without you. I cannot stress it enough. Make sure y'all are engaged with my sponsored content from Sephora so I look good. You know what I mean? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.